When I first started my job at Theatre Historical Society, it was kind of eye-opening for me to learn that the places that I went to to see Broadway touring shows or the symphony were actually buildings that were built as movie palaces. Toward the end of World War I, up through the Depression, which is the early 30s, there was just a boom. That's the only way to describe it, a boom that led to the building of innumerable movie palaces. Not theaters, but palaces. And ones you can visit today and still see and still enjoy a movie in. It seems so incredibly lavish. You wonder how anybody could conceive of them or why they would build such structures just to go to the movies. As Marcus Lowe, the famous showman and businessman said, we don't sell tickets to movies, we sell tickets to theaters. 